who we've got a beautiful 1985 uh, Yamaha YZ250N. Um, I mean, when you look around this bike, it's like, it's so original and it's so, it's been so well looked after, you can tell um, whoever's had it has been very, very proud of this bike. Obviously it's used, there's some scuffing on the cases, but not a huge amount. Uh, whether this case has ever been off this engine, I don't know. Um, it's got a few non-original bits, so the front, the front mud guard or fender is an aftermarket one. Looks like a Preston Petty or a Preston Petty copy or whatever, and it's bent. Uh, but so replacing that will be a good idea. The uh, the frame's never been painted. It's got the original stickers on it. The wheels are in immaculate condition. Everything is really, really nice and original. The uh, the exhaust has got quite a big ding in it. Uh, the front at the bottom, but uh, compared to the rest of the bike, I mean, it's uh, it's a lovely, lovely thing. It's you know, it's it's an unrestored Survivor bike, and it's in it's obviously been very well cared for overall. Not sure if these are the original plastics. Actually, yeah, they are. They are stock Yamaha plastics. Uh, it's just they faded. So I think this is a non-stock rear mud guard and the non-stock front fender. I think this is a genuine Yamaha front mud guard. Uh, the tank has faded into like a yellowy, yellowy colour. Um, but is in generally nice condition. I could put you in touch with a guy who could restore that back up to being uh, immaculate again. The rad scoops, I think a genuine Yamaha. I would be surprised if they weren't original. Um, I took the, uh, just because it's so nice, I took the, the air filter cover off before and there's a beautifully oiled air filter in there which I mean out of doing three or four hundred bikes from America it's probably like the second or the third time I've ever seen that um they're normally just falling apart or or whatever the uh the carb has got the lovely rubber cover going over the top of it it's not split it's not cracked nothing that's all nice to see the uh, the ignition the ignition cover has got no no scuffs or scrapes on it. Looks as though someone's changed that standard standard uh, bolt for uh, an Allen key an Allen key bolt. The rear wheel again, much like the front, is in really really nice condition. A few marks from tyre levers, but other than that, it's gorgeous. Yeah, really, really lovely, original condition. 1985 YZ250. Um, I've checked, it does spark, and the kill switch works. We'll do the gearbox test. I was just checking some work on one of my bikes there or I'll just uh, I'll just flick the camera around and we'll do the gearbox test and then we'll see if we can get it going maybe have a little ride of her around the garden okay so she's in neutral at the minute down into first back up into neutral second third fourth and fifth down into fourth, third, second, first, and back up to neutral. That's something I didn't, uh, didn't point out. This bike has got with it the uh, original, 
original um, service manual and original. So I'm trying to tell you what, I'll turn the, the original uh, race preparation and tuning manual, um, which which came with the bike when it was new. Which, although it's got a little tear in there, the guy was running 40 to 1, Yammer Lube, two stroke, um, two stroke oil. Um, so it's uh, just a nice, nice thing to have with the bike, really, those two bits of, bits of, uh, bits of manuals. Obviously, the guy loved, loved this bike. Um, and I don't blame him, don't blame him at all. I think it's absolutely stunning. Right, let's see if we can get her started, eh? Okay, so I've just had a fired up. That's what I do. I normally try and get them running before video it. Video when it's starting. Sometimes if they don't go very easy, then it can be a bit embarrassing, you know? Anyway, this one, uh, probably about five kicks and it went. It's a bit smoky. Uh, and that's often to do with the fact that the uh, the uh, stale fuel, uh, the, the fuel will like evaporate a little bit in the bottom of the engine and it'll just leave a whole load of oil in there. So when it first starts up, after it's been sat for a while, then it's got to burn that burn that oil off. So once it's burnt it off, uh, once, I've, once I've ridden it or whatever, then uh, it should stop being smoky like that. But uh, let's get her fired up and then we can have a listen. might have noticed that when I uh, went around the corner down there, I had a bit of a sideways moment and it could be to do with this tyre here. It's a little bit hard, not many nobbles on it and a little bit slippery. <laughs> 